Look at this, 61 Plymouth. Man, I could count on my hand how many of these I've seen in my life. Christ. Don't get, don't let my voice fool you. I'm 42 years old, eh? So I haven't seen many of these. Man, you know what? This actually, I wonder if this is the same one I have a photo of I took on Salem Ross Street back in 2099 and it was white. Eh? Yeah. Where's this car from? Uh, Tedford Mine. Oh, you've been Tedford Mine? Yeah. that I had a friend who came from Tedford Mines. Too bad he uh, flaked out big time in the worst way, but you know, people are people. But, uh, Wow, hey, felicitations, hey, look at, look at the design on the roof line over here. This was so Chrysler, Virgil Exner years, look how it just lifts up over here. You know, and it, it was, you know, Chrysler products were not, I think sometimes Chrysler products were not for people who, who thought outside the, they weren't for people who didn't think outside the box. Those types of people bought Chevrolets and Pontiacs, and, but, you know, they were different, these cars, you know, they were neat. Look at the taillights, I'll get to that in a moment. Not to show this, uh, this compadre's uh, girlfriend or wife over here, but that's one of the cool features of these cars. Oh, I will, I will, don't worry. Hey, let me give you my card. I go by the name of Retro Old School on the internet. Yeah. Oui, oui, je suis un fanatique de véhicules, de, de, de trains, de chars, de camionnage, de véhicules d'urgence en répondant. Uh, you don't take chances, hey, look, you don't even have the window rolled down. Man, no, it's an original interior. <laughs> My God, you quest a char là comme 39,000 mil. 50,000. 50,000 miles and it shows. Yeah. It's a push button? Nope. Really? Look at that dash, guys. This is one of the weirdest dashes ever made. It's like two giant eyes staring at you while you're driving. Qu'est-ce que tu regardes, tu I'm not a very conventional person, so you know. Je suis pas un gars qui a tout comme qui dit rien durant les vidéos, qui fait pas de commentaires négatifs ou. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's real. Hey, what's your name, buddy? Emilio. Emilio? Yeah. Elton, like Elton John. Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you, Elton. And you know one of the things I also love, the simplest things I love about these 61 full-size Plymouths, this being a Belvedere, of course, the top of the line was the Fury, was the hubcaps. Just gorgeous. You know, you got your period correct size. Uh, Actually, no, sorry, the correct size for those wide white walls would have been wide white walls because 61 was last year for them. You think I talk too much? Don't subscribe if I talk too much. It's just Some people are like that. They don't want to hear nobody talking. They don't want to hear anything. You know, and then you got that mean-ass front end right there. It means business. And whenever I see a front end like that, which happens every few years, it reminds me of one of my favorite movies called Serpico. You ever see the movie Serpico? He knows it well. When the New York City police car 61 Plymouth cruises up real quick, guy stomps in the brakes. Al Pacino, that is. And, uh, er, and just, you know, comes after some guys there who were uh, attempting to rape a woman. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. 50,000 miles. Plain Jane, four door sedan stripper. The term stripper, by the way, I learned that from a friend of mine who was older than me years ago. A stripper means. There's really not much chrome to this. This would have been the kind of car that would have been ordered by fleets such as police, taxi, fire chiefs, and, and so forth. Man, it's incredible. Look, there is your originality right there. Sadzilla, Sadzi, Beijing Motors, Tetford Mines. Isn't that original? You know, the worst part, the worst thing somebody can do is repaint an old car and take off the uh, dealer tag. That way it loses some of its originality. Look at the massiveness of this thing. Massive. Every shot I made a and I've been shot at American, though, aussi, though. Check tout le anodized, no aluminum, no, c'est, 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 uh, c'est hallucinant. You have to, uh, you know, part my excitement. It's just, again, I see a 61 Plymouth like every few years, you know, it's just, they're so rare, these cars today, because unfortunately they rusted out so badly. And more importantly, to a lot of people, they were not a very attractive looking car, so they didn't, they, that's what makes them special today, because most of them were, were junked. And, um, it's actually amazing that somebody bought this car new and they loved it so much that they just hung on to it. I wonder if it's a typical story about the old man who bought it and he died and then the wife kept it in the garage, right? See, it's Pixa. That's love. That's love, man. Is that a slant six in there? Yeah, that's what I figured. Typical, Can typical Canadian car, it's got the slant six in it. It's not a dual, it's not a, a V8. However, that being said, they were probably the best six cylinders compared to all of the big three back then. Let's have a little quick look underneath here, even though I'm not going to go all the way down there. But because when a car is this clean, you got to show underneath. You got to give people a, a look at how clean the car is everywhere. The only flaw I see here is right here. 
this is typical these shelves they would just like my 65 Buick they would rot out because there's so much glass <coughs> but hey félicitations vraiment guys thanks for bringing this this is really great check out Whoa. Okay, you're clear. Happy trails. <laughs> what a boat. I love it. It's so weird too. You know, a car that's that wide and has these two little tail lights. It's so funny. Get that 225 like slant six going there. Uh -huh. Rock and roll. No pinging. No pinging at all. Yeah, man. Good to meet you again, eh? Uh, I wanted to go see if my friend with his New York, his Newport is still down the road there. Yeah. He's probably gone by now at this time. Yeah, well, since you got your window down, let me just get a quick look at that steering there. With those googly eyed. Uh, Oh, that is a nice one. Dude, come here. I want to show you something. Look at the dash on that car. You ever seen a dash like that before? Is that something? Oh, it looks like an 